It's not social media, it's not big data, it's not robotics, it's not even AI. It's called the blockchain. Many people are familiar with uh, record books or ledgers from, from bookkeeping or accounting. Uh, and that's where, when you have a new transaction, you write it at the end of, of the ledger. Blockchain is very much like that. It's a digital ledger or, or a database. Because as new transactions arrive to be included into the ledger, they're grouped, uh, those transactions are grouped into uh, a block. So a block is just a group of transactions and that block is uh, chained or attached to the previous block in, in the ledger. It's a bit difficult for the average user to use at the moment but it's kind of the first experiment in this, in this wave of decentralization. One really cool thing that is, is typically talked about is um, removing the middleman. So right now we have all these massive multi-billion dollar corporate entities like Uber, like Airbnb, like Facebook, like Twitter, like YouTube. Um, and essentially at the end of the day, they're really just a, a middleman marketplace. Um, you, you think of Uber. Uber is really, you know, a driver connects to a rider and Uber Inc. is in the middle taking a percentage fee. But in the future, you can actually have a decentralized app that plays that role in the middle. Uh, so it actually replaces Uber Inc, but still allows riders and drivers to connect with each other uh, and pay each other securely and safely without any middle company. Think of any situation in our society and if there's any middleman or any group in the middle between a transaction or an interaction, that will be replaced by blockchain. We could actually replace the entire legal system with a, a, a um, decentralized autonomous entity that basically helps uh, mediate individuals and help them uh, associate contracts with each other. We're actually hoping to free people's data and privacy and, and give it back to them so that individuals can control their data. So the big thing is decentralization, meaning removing central authorities, removing centralized data, so removing control of data, control of code, and control of just uh, networks. The data is quite literally stored everywhere and nowhere. It's stored across tens of thousands of computers um, in a very secure way so that no individual can corrupt that data or control it. So if you imagine the entire internet and all of the, all of the devices connected to it, if you treated that entire thing as a single computer that anyone can access and use, so you know, combine all the computational resources and speed, combine all the uh, data and combine all of the resources and then make it freely accessible to everyone at any time. So there's no data silos, it's all open source, all open data um, and all the code can be read and you can do all these amazing things. we can actually have a more networked society that's much more fluid and more adaptive to change rather than relying on the, the um, wishful thinking and, and uh, intuition of a few people at the top making the decisions. Yeah.